Welcome, one and all, to Baldur's Gate 3. A game of thrilling adventure, action, diplomacy, uh, and whatever this is. Today, we take on a challenge only one as stupid as myself would, to beat Baldur's Gate 3 with only magic missile. No companions, and on tactician difficulty, no less. Why do I do this to myself? Although this was a great set of streams that took me over 30 hours to complete, I so generously condensed it all to just under two hours. Isn't that kind of me? I even cut it up into nice little episodes for you, so you know, if you need to take a break, you can just come back and start at that next episode. You know, it's kind of, I, I tried to make it easy to watch. Now let's begin our journey, creating our beautiful man, mm, who will conquer the world in Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, wait, sorry, wrong game. We're gonna do Tactician. Honor mode, I don't... Not yet. <laughs> I'm gonna be choosing Sorcerer. Okay, I think Drow could be fun too. Is Magic Missile good? It's not great, but there's some really cool interactions with stuff you can get that I think makes it cooler. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go for Shield, because if I'm solo, I need to survive. Yeah, let's do Storm. No, I think we'll do Guild Artisan. Insight and Persuasion could be solid. I will be multi-classing more than likely, yes. So, uh, my idea for this guy is I wanted him to be called the, the Mighty Missile Man. <laughs> Triple M for short, you know what I mean? The nice thing is, is about going Sorcerer, though, is you get uh, Charismatic as well, so you can actually talk with people, which is partially why I'm choosing that over Wizard. It's because I can actually talk with people then and make arguments and stuff, which I think is going to be really helpful. He's going to be Triple M. Dang, okay, shoot. <laughs> also, I can't stop Lazel from joining my team at the start here, so we're just gonna kinda oh, cruise through this intro segment. Mini Missile Man, Magic Missile Man, Mighty Missile Man, whatever you wanna call him. His name is just, mmm. Yes, hi, Lazel. Let's do it. And we'll go. Boop. Oh, almost. We're just gonna get through the Nautiloid, cause there's really nothing I can do about all the companions. Just get us out of here. Hi, Shadowheart. How are you? Okay. Fine. <laughs> Fine. See you, Shadowheart. Wow, you want to join me? Cool. Hey, I'm going to leave you a camp. Pester me another time. There's probably like a optimal build that someone's made, but I'm just doing what I know and I've seen. Jump. Yeah, I think Enhanced Leap. I think you're right. Enhanced Leap allowing me to like get places could be really good. Hi, Astarian. But for you, that all. Oh, right. Hey, uh, Astarian. Oh, darn. It's. Goodbye. Nice. Ooh, how am I gonna kill them? I don't think I can do enough damage right now. Nope. I need my spells. No. Oh gosh. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, I'd really like to make sure you just disappear. Please do a good roll. Hmm. Okay, well. I think we gotta try to get out of combat. We'll come back. <laughs> do I really have to long rest now? Just for... I do. I'm out of spells. I'm going to need so many camp supplies. I don't care about your condition. Uh, yeah. You're dead. <laughs> I hate that I had to long rest for two damage. <laughs> wow, we'll journey together. Not. We're going to make another spell slot. And I'm going to try to stay out of combat here. And just let them go at it. Let's go, Will. Oh, fine. Gale approves. Gale, you're not even here. Shut up. <laughs> I'm... Mm. Gale approves. Gale, you're not here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna immediately go for a staff. Let's get the doggo. We have doggo now. Come. You got it, lady. 
By the time aid arrives, it might th I will th Staff. Definitely the best item to get from her. So if you don't know what this um, staff does, whenever you deal damage with a cantrip or spell, it gives you two lightning charges. And then lightning charges, lightning courses through you, you have plus one to attack rolls and deal an additional one lightning damage. When you have five charges, it does a 1d8 damage on top of that. And because magic missile is a guaranteed hit, so every hit's giving me two charges, it starts to really pile up and do some funny stuff. So this staff is kind of the, the foundation of this build, surprisingly, and it's so early on to get, which makes it kind of fun. What? Step! Apologies, your lordship. Hard making you out from... Oh, move it, lad! <laughs> My man. Mmm. Uh, your prisoner is now mine. <laughs> I like it. Not proficient with medium armor. No. Avenge your brother. What? It's kill your right sir. The key is just... Have fun. Enhance ability could be clutch for this yeah i'm cool with it i took back the idol of sylvanus yeah yeah whatever i i actually don't care i do want to try and get the ring that gives armor class and saving throws by exposing her and then stealing the statue better yeah and then i think we'll long rest actually we have enough spell slots we could probably go take out a couple things with it yeah. That's not bad. And hey, was that 18 damage for level two? Make me an offer. Tempt me. Nice. Let's go. I eventually do want to kill him because I want his crown. Yeah, I think long rest time. You don't maybe you watch it. Mmm. No, I don't want disadvantage. I'm not taking the negative one to attack rolls and stuff. Scratch! Best boy. Gale approves. It's always Gale. The visions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Visions. Wow. Cool. Draw Ragslin. Bravo. Uh, I'm going to get the absolute brand. There's a ring later on that having the brand might actually be really nice. I don't know for sure yet, though. But I'm just going to get it just in case. I want him. Yeah, yeah. He's but I hate for our friendship to end here. Perfect. 35 health. 22. Thanks, lady. Success. I think the main problem is my lack of spells. I kind of want to go into the Underdark. Because I want to go down there and there's a necklace down there I really want. Okay, we're going to long rest. I don't even get to use my short rests because of spell slots. Oh yeah, yeah Lazel's going to try to kill me. No red. Oh, Are and this, Tao. Oh, I forgot we have a muscle mommy. <laughs> we're in powers, let's go. Consume? Uh, oh, dear God. God. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, the priestess. How much health does she have? 52? I mean, I could try to kill her real quick. I would use a lot of spells, though. Torment. We're gonna we're gonna reset that. That's a problem. Time to press it. Can I do 97 hit points? I guess let's find out. Torment. Give us a good estimation of like what we can do. Good miss, good miss. Ooh. Ooh, got a max roll on the lightning. Let's go. The staff I have is absolutely carrying. There it is. That's what I wanted. Okay, I want to see if I can make it past the Minotaurs. You are correct. It is the hobgoblin that sells the necklace. That is why I'm here. I don't know how expensive it'll be. I hope we have enough money. We'll find out. Oh, I have it. No. Are you looking to have it oh. extracted? Wow. There it is. 163? Oh, easy. The lightning charges crown as well. It's starting to turn out pretty good here. So now level 1's cast 4 missiles. Okay. 
Oh, we can go to Overgrown Ruins. That'd be perfect. Long rest for spells. Ooh, let's get the eye. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open Dude, and this... begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Friends, this hurts. <laughs> and begins to stab. I agree. It's a feisty critter. Drat. <laughs> Drat. Just stabbed out my eye. <laughs> Take this. So now he gave me an eye that lets me see invisibility. Anything tries to go invisible on me? No, no, no. Easy. Please get it. Oh, natural 20. All right, cool. I don't think so. Goodbye. We're starting to get cracked. Oh, I level up. Dual wielder. And that sword's the one that's in the, the rock, correct? In the Underdark? It makes magic missile 2d4 plus 2. Oof. Okay. Let's do it. I can always respec if I ever feel the need. Oh no, I want invisibility if I want to go grab the information to accuse what's-her-face. Yeah. Because if he rages... Goodbye. That went pretty well, you know? Didn't even get hit. Let's go. All enemies within 6 meter range take a 1d4 penalty charisma and take an extra 1 to 4 thunder damage. That's... I will give you guys that. That's good. Okay, let's get Karlak. I'm... Mm, do we just long rest now? Yeah, I think so. Ah, uh, good old Will. Will, get out of the party. Nobody wants you. So much talking that I've already done, so I don't care. I need food. Oh, uh, ooh, that's a problem. Let's do Shriek. Okay, I like the dash. Hmm. I, I, mm. <laughs> It's kind of a problem, guys. I'm probably dead. Let's see what happens. I think I want to make sure this guy dies. <laughs> All the text <laughs> behind my head. Holy. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, great. Dude, what is your hit chance with that? Oh, triple shot. Okay, we're good. I think I just need a long rest. Oh, how are you, Mizora? Mm, let's do a level two. Ooh, look at all that food. Food has become so valuable to me now. Holy. The shock you see. Authority. Get him. Just gonna sit back and watch this happen, you know? She is still ravenous. Please? Oh, let's go. Hit her again. <sighs> okay. Man, who will be the victor? <laughs> Stop. I think it's time. Not dead. Fascinating. <sighs> Magic Missile Man? Mighty Missile Man? Magic Missile Mike? Whatever you want to call him, they all work for me. We just call him Mmm here. Okay, bye. Yeah, I think we're gonna just have to long rest. You carry a gift Yankee relic. Walk away. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Blah 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 blah. Long rest with no supplies. Can you do that? Okay. Let's go confront Koga. Or let's not do it yet. We need to free another one of the the kids.
I'm gonna hope that the lightning charges stacks. Perfect. Uh, let me try the long rest thing you were talking about. Partial rest. Ah. Yeah, that'll definitely make things go further. It's a good call. How often can you do that? You can only do that like once between a long rest or can you do that like every time? No limit. I, mean, I guess if I have Speak. health to what go, I might as well just keep doing that. Uh, we need Shadow Heart. I want to steal that big shiny idol they're all chanting. Okay, well, just leave her there. All right, now Wait. another s simple Su fight. Look at all those numbers. Time to steal an idol. I had a feeling you'd be back. Thanks, kid. Armor class and saving throws. What's an easy, small encounter? Probably the Blighted Village. I could just take out like a crew of goblins real quick. You're dead, son. After clearing the Blighted Village and our hero reaching level 4, it was time to rest for the day. Before jumping into our next adventures, our hero dug through troves of archives, known as the BG3 Wiki, looking for items that could help him along his journey. And so eager to get back to it, our hero pursued quests that would unlock a shop of a special flailing tentacle man, giving us access to these fancy boots and this beautiful necklace. And with this, our hero was ready to clear the goblin camp. So I can maybe go try and kill the uh, this goblin lady over here. Okay, see, this is an issue. This is a big issue. I could just try and run. No reaction, okay. That's good. I think maybe I should wait on her then. If it's gonna make this whole place probably aggro to me. Cause she's alerting them. Yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna go for like Minthara first. Personally, I think it looks better like this. <laughs> no! <laughs> she gonna hold person? Okay, yep. But it was an accident. Ready, Minthara? Mm, please don't hold me. Oh, right. I forgot she has that. Ah, that's annoying. Whoa. That did a lot more damage that time. Stop it. At least she keeps eating up the action with that, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering if her armor would work really well for me. That's partially a thought that I have. One damage. Oh gosh! Double eights? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's so good! I love this build. <laughs> okay, we're gonna drink a potion. And then we're gonna do a level two. I think we're gonna be okay. Ooh, Scrying Eye, please just stay there. Uh, don't. Oh gosh. Too much to bear. Okay, I need to. Dang. Oh, he's almost dead. And I'm almost dead. I only have one more set of magic missile. If I shield. I'm gonna try to get lucky. <laughs> Dead parasite in that corpse. Okay. Oh, also I did get the boots from Omelium I need to put on. Just outside of your cell. Clearly a mistake. No. <laughs> I'll go one more. There we go. Did, did me convincing them just like make them not care at all anymore? Excuse me. Ah, uh, they care if I loot her though. Partial rest. Recruit her. She's dead. <laughs> You're alive?
Love this game. See ya. Excuse me? Shoo. Okay, we need to long rest now. I think we're at that stage. Can I kill you without the others knowing? Or I mean, I'll, I'll level one. Let's go. The bear sizes you up. Wary, but scattered. Uh, he's gonna let the wargs out. This might get spicy. He gone. Four should do it. Let's do four. Dude, this sword makes crazy stuff happen. We're pretty much in the long, the long haul here. We're, we're going to be trying to clear this place out. I said this before, but situations like this, I will allow myself to have a companion. It's like story driven. I am kind of worried about Draw Ragslin. Oh yeah, I do have the three ogres. Could I call them here? Well. Dude, all the numbers are always so exciting to watch. <laughs> Work to do. Enemies to kill. will be okay. Jeez, you believe that guy? Nice, he's full health again. Let's go. Oh, Halson. Always getting spotted, aren't you? <laughs> Food. Stop your belly, brother. What? No, no, not the spiders, dudes. Not the spiders. Okay, we're restarting. I think Halson can't sneak in bear form. Oh, no, he can. Nice and quiet now. <laughs> There's something about a bear crouched down like this that's hilarious. What a spawn. Well, uh, I'm out of initiative, so let's cast this good start good start oh another one let's go oh let's go what a start dang house and taking some hits that's not good wow Goodbye, Draw Ragslin. <laughs> ah, yes. As it should be. Can you even summon anyone? I think everyone you would summon is over here and they're all already dead. I mean, I'm cool if you do, because I think these ogres are going to absolutely destroy all of you. Wait, what's... Why, why'd the ogres... We're, we're not done here. Also, Draw Ragslin, how did you get up? What is going on in this fight? I think I'm going to take the little bit of damage I might take to... Put them in the shrieking thing. <laughs> You're in a very bad spot, my friend. Another parasite. There's more goblins. You guys want to fight them? After the next fight? Heck yeah. That's what I want. Because I, I want to kill him. Let's go. <laughs> good start. Okay, these guys are already fairly weak. That's really good. Level one. Right. Oh, I love it. Okay, one of them's down. Wow. Two missiles did over 19 damage.
That's not right. I'm not gonna have Halcyon if I want to fight them. Sounds good, dude. Sure rest. Hey, Frank. Where, where did they... What? I really want his crown. I went really low intelligence, so I could hopefully take it from him. No! Do I refight that? That was a really chill fight. I could easily do that again. No, I. the last time I saved was before draw Ragslin. Because that would be a big jump from a minus one to like, what, a plus three in intelligence? If I ever need to make like checks or any sort of rolls with intelligence. Is it worth it to do all those fights over again? Yeah, I think it is worth it too. So yes, this crown was too great for our hero to pass up, and so after performing the magical feat of reloading a save so he could refight these encounters, our hero made sure to reconquer the goblin camp and kill the ogres in the process, taking the crown for himself. And with that, it was time to return to the grove. Our hero spoke of great valor. They threw a grand party and had a giddy time. Man, why am I talking like this? What happened to me? With the first major chapter of our hero's quest behind him, it was time to continue in his grind for items and levels. But before that, there's one foe he must vanquish before moving on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already know. She's a crazy witch. Hag lady. Oh, they're both still alive? Ooh. Not good. Okay, he's still out there. Why? <sighs> I'm just gonna partial rest so it'll autosave. Which a partial rest also gives me two of my sorcery points back. That's actually kinda sick. Four should be enough. I'd, I'd rather you just die. Rude. Oh, that's not good. Stop, dude. Stop it. Okay, I think we'll long rest before Ethel, though. Glorious vaulting. Cast. Is he gonna let me jump even though I just lost the... No. Oh! It let me! <laughs> Level up! Oh, right! Uh-oh. That seemed like such a good start, and it wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's level. Like I talked about, I'm gonna go cleric. That way, I still get spell slots. Guidance will be helpful to just have. I feel like Talos just because it has lightning symbols. <laughs> I forgot to drink the. Oh. Oh, why did I stand? Forty-one. Let's see if I can get this off. Not nice. She got a crit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Level five, level one. So that's her. Let's go. Oh, I'm tempted to just make sure. I don't want her to die, though. F5, yeah, good call, good call. Hey, you want to beg for your life? Please? No. <laughs> good. Uh, so I think we're only going to hit her with, like, two? Maybe three. Because if she's below 20, I think, is the, the limit. Okay. Wait. Yes. Yes. Bollocks, bye bye. 
best of luck. I will take Charisma. And now we eat her hair. 17. And now if I get rid of this ring, we're up to 18. Hmm. Okay. Here's the thing. So I thought the plus three was because of my charisma. But I think that just means I'm shooting three missiles. Plus three. So they're doing six to 15. I take this off. Six to 15. So if I stay full charisma, all I get is conversation stuff, right? Whereas if I start dumping intelligence, then when I'm a wizard, if I decide to multi-class into a, or change into a wizard, uh, level 10, you can apply your spell casting or your intelligence bonus to your spells, which could make magic missile absolutely cracked, especially because uh, you can get the plus one from Auntie Ethel and then the plus two from the mirror. I think that's actually a smarter play if I'm going to try to actually like beat this game. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do Auntie Ethel's hair. I'll think about it some more, but I think I'm going to change it to Int. Yeah, so now I need to go get some some good heavy armor. Which I would love to go get uh, the heavy chest piece from the Grimforge eventually. I think that'd be great. Oh, I could get her husband back for her. Here's the wand. Good luck. Nearby creatures take 1d4 psychic. Yeah, because to me that feels within the rules. I'm doing damage with magic missile. And then they're taking Psychic because of it as well. Feeling like it's finally time to move into the next zone, our hero begins by taking the Mountain Pass and making his way to the Githyanki Kresh. Inside, he buys a pair of gloves that give 18 dexterity in case he needs to do some lockpicking and such. And he seeks out a second pair of gauntlets located deep within the Kresh. And so after stealing a key, turning himself invisible, and sneaking his way through, he grabs these gauntlets. Now these gauntlets add reverberation stacks every time our hero does thunder, lightning, or radiant damage. And currently, our staff does lightning, and our sword adds thunder. And so every magic missile is now adding a couple stacks of reverberation, which also deals four additional thunder damage and knocks them prone when they have five stacks of it. Quite ridiculous. And so our hero with his newfound powers decides it's time to make his way to the Underdark and to begin clearing out the Draugr. You guys can't see invisibility, right? Like we're chill? Good. 18? Yeah, that's great. And then these gloves. With 20 armor class, dude, we're looking pretty good right now. Let's go fight the dudes in the Underdark. What? Look at this damage feed. Holy. Let's see if we can get away with a, a level one on this guy. Oh, rude. Okay, uh, I want you gone. Oh, silence is actually bad. I knew it. This might be an issue. You know what? It's not an issue. We got speed. Not dead. Okay. Dang, it'd be nice to kill him before he does that. Okay, he's dead. How much health? 28? I don't have enough spells. I need to kill the guy who summons before this all starts. Breathe deep. What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us. Enemy is surprised. Okay. We'll do five. Do one on you. That's a W. All right, I think we're just gonna talk our way through this. With the Draugr down, our hero makes his way to the Grimforge in pursuit of two more items. One a ring, and the other the adamantine chest piece. Because he has multiclassed into Cleric, it means he can wear heavy armor now, and the adamantine heavy armor is quite delicious. 
Now, although our hero doesn't feel ready to take on the big man Grimm himself, he decides he does want to take on Nier and get the ring he wants. And so, after having conversations, he begins the fight with Nier. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. Clean up this First mess. Step is the Nier dies. Get the way. What are you waiting for? Okay, <laughs> I was about to be like, excuse me? Okay, yeah, we got we got friendlies. Heretic. Oh, let's go. Not optimal. I only, please don't push me in the lava. I swear if one of these dudes runs up and pushes me. What did I say? What did I say? See, this is why we're not playing honor mode. It's crap like that. <laughs> Love this game, man. So good. <laughs> All right, near. And then we'll do a level two. Cool, so close. Armor class increased by three. The attacker takes two to 12 psychic damage when they hit near with a melee attack. Ah, yeah, we're chilling. Uh, we'll do three just to make sure he dies. And then let's do one on the guy who. Mind mastery. There we go. Finally, the eye can stop. Hey, let's go. <laughs> you're not dead. Well, you're gonna be. I can't do anything, so I have to shove it. Scrying eyes have all of a sudden become really difficult to deal with. I feel like they used to just be something you poked away, but now they're actually like kind of annoying. No way it survived. Smash it, smash it, please. Stop enlarging and stuff, just smack it. Oh, Dude, AI I can't deal with this thing. What the heck? And now I'm gonna slip trying to shove it. This is ridiculous. I swear if I slip, okay. Please, one of you, please. I'm begging you. Why can't you guys do anything? Throw it? Oh, good call, good call. Too heavy to throw. I'm weak as heck. <laughs> I'm gonna spawn a mage hand. Can the mage hand throw it? Oh, finally, someone's hitting it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. The eye is prone now. <laughs> Please. Too heavy. Oh, I don't have a solution to that. My magic missile won't do enough damage. We're gonna try a full volley and just see what happens. Maybe I'll get a nice charge. Yeah, nothing. Okay. An elixir of strength? I do. I could pop an elixir. This is the weirdest thing I've run into, though. I was going to save it for a, you know, a, a bigger situation where I needed strength, but I, I think, weirdly, I need it. No shot, you're still alive. What? <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever experienced in this game. <laughs> I didn't even know you could go down there. And he's Finally. Luke. There it is. That's the ring I wanted. When the wearer has the absolute brand, which I got, do one additional thunder damage with spells and attacks. How many camp supplies? 420. Oh, hello, Mizora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trapped down below. Oh, I forgot about our muscle mommy. She's our magic muscle mommy. <laughs> But I really want to get to Moonrise Towers. There's a lot there that would be very beneficial for me. Will this protect me? Oh, it seems to be working. I like that because it makes me not have to unequip any weapons. Stop! Who's there? <laughs> Hides behind the tree. My name is. Mm. Oh, she did. Oh, she did. Nicely fought. You've got some chops. Thanks, dude. Why have you come here? Then you settle in. Okay, I want this lady's cloak. I have some. Okay. Take care. I'm happy to help. There it is.
this. With simple weapons or short bows. Does that mean I can't use its ability? Huge. I don't care if I can't get like the proficiency to shoot it or whatever. That's what I want though, to be able to just haste in combat. She's up. Okay, let's do just a partial rest for this as well. I think we'll be okay with that. With everyone else here, I think we'll be okay. So what I can do is go haste. Really? That's still not enough? Close. No, please stop. No, he's gonna grab her if she goes unconscious. It's so annoying. Good. Oh, it's so satisfying. Nice. Uh, so we're gonna do a partial. I imagine I have to talk to him to start this thing. <laughs> Attack! Ooh. Please don't sanctuary. Ah, you're so dumb. I should have drank a potion. If this, this guy kills me right now, I'm dead. Like, that's, that's game over. Yeah, okay. I'm really gonna need them to put in work here. I'm, like, out of spell slots, so. Like, I have two more casts. Uh, I need that. Yeah. Charm him. Charmed. Okay, reverberation. Okay. You guys got this, right? Please. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yeah. Tormentor. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> no way. That's so annoying. I'm begging you. Please do 16 damage. Excellent. Thank you. In her name. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pretend I don't know you because I just don't care. There it is. A level three magic missile, no less. And she sells a magic missile scroll. I'll just take that. Uh, when the wearer deals thunder damage to a reverberated creature, it becomes dazed. I think that's kind of big. Yeah, we'll do this first. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Oh, prize! I don't want to take on another what fight. We must learn what fuels his power. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, Astorian, I need you. And then we're going to short rest for health. And I want to level up. It could be good to just be able to cast haste. Invisibility, I have a ring that now does that. Yeah, we get counter spell. Araj, I'd like to offer my services. No. Potion of increased strength by two. Let's go. Drink it. Up to twelve. Uh, and then she also sells stuff. Welcome back. Whenever a creature with reverberation deals damage to the wearer, the creature needs to make a constitution saving throw. Or become dazed. Uh Astorian, time to go back. Oh, I also want the necklace of arcane cultivation from the uh the warden down below. Business a warning. None. I know you just climbed the ladder, okay? Why can't I see her? Oh, she's right here, though. Can I do this? Oh, I can. Sick. Okay. I'm allowing myself to use items to kill those things because they're just that stupid. Can I throw this now that I have two more strength? I'm at disadvantage. 
Okay, let's try it again. Oh no, <laughs> the other one saw me. I gotta get rid of them because they suck. <laughs> oh, there. Let's go. Huge. No more scrying eyes. Ooh. Ooh. That could be really bad. I think just one level. Oh, close. Charmed? Oh, let's go. He's dead. <laughs> Yeah, oh no, your friend's dead. What happened to him? I wonder. Nice. Okay, let's free the prisoners. Uh, I'll go skull with you. That's no I really want to go get the ring now. That'll help kind of finalize this build. Killing everyone who got in my way. I, you should have <laughs> Look at all this stuff she gives us. This is the... This robe is so good. I literally, that's my end game robe for my warlock. Well, Wolbrin, yeah. so rude to Barkus. Well. Smell it all. If you find it, bring it to me. Whenever I'm hit by a foe within two meters, it might take 1d4 fire damage. I mean, why not, you know? Look at us. Oh, I need to remember to go kill the spiders because I want to get the dark amethyst. I might actually go do that after I get this ring. Uh, I want to try something. Okay, cool. I can I can do that fight later. Right tool will do the trick. Ooh. No way. Yeah, seven to ten. I have to roll a twenty. A two. Let's go. There it is. Okay. Uh we are going back to the blighted village. And if I cast light. Yeah, so my staff is glowing. That's what I want. I was just about to use it. No, come over this one. This one. No. So if I shriek. So now if I only do like a level one, will we get radiant damage? Look at all those numbers. <laughs> That's incredible. Holy, how much damage did we just do? Magic Missile. Four Force, two Radiant, three Thunder, two Radiant, four Force, two Radiant, three. Look at all of the Radiant damage. <laughs> so I think I just need to kill one of these. And then Psychic Damage will cause them all to start exploding. I'm gonna do three there. Oh, it didn't. Let's do like two of them. I only need one more there, so we'll do three. <laughs> Jump over here or something. Have it your way. 162 health with number three. Torment. 99 damage. So on average, each magic missile is doing like... Almost like 15 damage. Wow. Alright, see ya. <laughs> Incredible. I love this game. <laughs> yeah, if I just keep my weapon glowing at all times, then I do two extra damage if I'm up close, but I want to be up close because my sword also gives me a buff. It's just like, it's it's so perfect. Not only that, but these gloves, if I do radiant, also inflicts reverberation. So it's getting the thunder, the lightning, and the radiant damage to trigger reverberation, which is doing additional thunder damage. This is so fun. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, the satisfaction of a build coming together is so fun. I have a thought. Can I... If I do this and this, I do another level three. Then can we partial rest again? Yeah, so then now I can... Another level two. I'll save that charge for a level three, and then we can use another sorcery point for a level one. Look at that. We're full again. <laughs> yeah, like two short rests. I could fill up all my spells again. Or two partial rests. Radiant Retort. What does that do? 
Whenever the wearer takes radiant damage, reflect it back at the attacker twofold as force damage. Ooh. Okay. Uh, lights aren't good for these people. Yeah, okay, we need to restart. Okay, we can't we can't use the glow ring here. Oh no. <laughs> There's so many of them. And two more, I think. Oh, they were lit up my ring. <gasps> he was standing in light, so my ring triggered. <laughs> Man, they use, like, all my spell slots, but... Oh, if you lockpick the door, he can help in the fight before you talk to him. Interesting. I'd be down for that. I think I'd need all my spell slots back again, though. So, we want to lockpick the door. It's a 30. I have to get a natural 20 to do a 30. I'm curious how this fight might go, though, real quick. Let's just see what happens. Just keep going at it. Nineteen armor class coming in clutch, though. Oh, whoa! I've never actually let that thing spawn this dude. Holy, he's huge. Yeah, not having companions here is a real problem. We're not ready for this, and or like you guys are saying, we need to use knock, and we need to get him out. Go for the nat twenty. I don't feel like brute forcing that right now. I already brute forced for this ring. Also, it's sad that I just got this ring and now I can't use it, so I kind of want to go do some fights where I can use it. With our hero feeling quite set up with all his gear, there's one piece he's missing that he still wants, and that is the adamantine chess piece made in the forge. Which means it's time to go fight the big boy Grim himself. But there's just one issue. Grim is resistant to a lot of things, making the damage output that the mighty missile man can do very minimal. And so he has to lean heavily on the forge hammer and find a solution to make it work. And after many failed attempts, our hero has a plan. What if I drank a potion of invisibility once the methods showed up? It's looking for me. <laughs> of course, now I'm getting targeted again. Yes, yes, kill it, kill it. Don't slam again. Please don't slam again. It's gonna slam again. Oh, I saved, let's go. No. Oh. Okay, so I can action. This. And now I just gotta save the slam. Thank you. Let's try before I went invisible. Because I gotta keep my health up for when it's just me. Because I need to use all of my actions and bonus actions to be doing stuff. Also, the methods not getting the heat metal off, making me drop all my weapons, like. There's a lot that went wrong that attempt. And I could quick spell shoot a... <gasps> Huge. No, 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 no. It got off the... Oh, its circle isn't on the thing. We'll try. Let's get this over with. Why did you move, you idiot? <laughs> my guy is like, Oh, I got this. Let me run on the platform to shoot my arrow. Oh. Huge. Oh, huge. Stop. That's fine. So if I magic missile the lever and a couple more on him just for safety. Not dead. Okay. I'm just going to quick spell this turn and do as much damage as possible because I think it won't be able to move. Don't die. Don't die from the stomp. Don't die from the stomp. There's no way. There's no way. I'm 
I'm dead. Okay. Then come on, hammer. Give me a good roll. 15 health. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Speed potion. Two actions. Fog cloud. Walk further away. Magic missile. Uh, speed. I can't see it. We need to move the fog so I can see. That took way, way, way too long. Holy. Give me that armor. Let's get out of here. <laughs> First try. Our hero having now achieved all the gear he desired, it was now time for him to vanquish the foes that stand before him. And so taking the gauntlet of Shar, making sure to complete all the trials, it was now time to go face Balthazar. And after much consideration, our hero uses the magical ability of saving and loading and brute forces the door open, rolling a natural 20. With Balthazar now in the fight, our hero sits in the corner and waits for people's health to get low, waiting for his precise moment to strike. Ooh, am I gonna have to run through the cloud kill? Oh, thank you. Wow. That's very kind of you. Uh, please don't hit me. No. Okay, that's fine. No, he broke haste. <gasps> that's rough, actually. At least I have a, at least one more turn with this sword. One more turn. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna drink a speed potion. Kind of. <laughs> Let's go. We're coming out on top. <laughs> I love diplomacy. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> oh, it had nothing. That thing was massive. It should have had something cool. I almost feel like I should long rest before this fight. I don't even know if I can do this fight. This feels more like a using ring of invisibility and go grab the gem. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try going in the front and see if we can do anything. I'm gonna convince him. <laughs> I got the this if I wanted. They barely have a thought to share among themselves. Kill yourselves. Back to I still hear it. Stay very still. My beauty. I'm gonna cast friends on him. I don't even care. Maybe that's true. Oh, whoops. I messed up. Okay, well, I guess I'll try and kill him real quick. Let's not use the sword. I think the the radiant ring. Oh, okay. Wow. You're very alert, aren't you? Please tell me I can hit you. Screw it. Level up. Let's go. Give me more spells. Oh, knock. Duh. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, now the rats are on the throne. <laughs> I love it, dude. Oh, uh, it's so funny. I think I should do a selling spree before I go get the night song real quick. I think we're good to kind of go for it here. My party? You mean me, right? <laughs> I'm ready to fly this place. Let's get Aelin. Oh yeah, I didn't lift the shadow curse. <laughs> There's no way that's happening. You finally showed yourself. Uh-huh. I thought you might try. I had. Bye, Shadowheart. Nice knowing you. Thanks for the backpack. I feel like some of these people have decent stuff. Oh, carrot. <laughs> it's funny how I'm excited to see a carrot. I'm just that desperate for food right now. Join me, Jahira. Still a 
alive, huh? Okay, good. Ah, yeah. <laughs> he slipped. Yes, kill him. These guys are an issue. Come on. Thank you. Okay. I couldn't counter it. Bummer. Okay. Uh, so I need to kill you. Please don't break my concentration. I'm tempted to try and close these doors. Because are these guys in the fight yet? I don't think so. And they're kind of a problem. It's like, if I can fly here. Close the doors. And then I'm going to try to take out this guy. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, best be on my way. <laughs> best be on my way. Okay, she didn't even get to use it at all. That's great. Please, please make, please hit. Yes. Did they all dash? No, only two of them did still. Okay. Oh, she here is dead. Okay. Uh, two more turns of haste. I should have taken an elixir of bloodlust. Because now my sword is... I don't have singing sword anymore. Uh. Oh, they're alive. Oh, yeah. Get him. Yeah. Good. Oh, almost all four of them hit. That's crazy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go lethargic here. We're gonna do one. Rest on you. Okay, uh, and then we are going to dip as far as I possibly can. You got this, guys. <laughs> I kind of believe in you. Oh, they're dead. Oh, <laughs> they're so dead because they're too dumb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, there goes one. You know, if you kill the people who actually summoned them, it's a little better. So we're going to try hiding and then drinking this. <laughs> Think she holding up. Kinda. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. I can't use this again. I short rested though. Is it? Does it not count? I think we try and go this way. I don't have my sword, so I think I'm just gonna kind of blast from up here. See, getting them to dash is gonna be so good here. That's fine. They can get a couple shots. That's two more. I think we got this, guys. Somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot all five. She's death ward still. She's making them run in circles. This is great. You take two, you take two, you take one. Come at me, huh? You think you could face me, huh? <laughs> and that's a dub. <laughs> Wow, everyone's dead. <laughs> I can't believe that worked though. Me running away and sleeping for two turns to regain those hit those uh, spell slots was kind of clutch. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink one of these. I think I'm gonna chug an elixir of bloodlust. You. Did I do it fast enough so I'm still invisible? Cause that'd be kind of sick. She missed all of them. That's really bad, because she does good damage. Where am I? 
Oh, dang it. <laughs> so we're going to go speed push him. Screech. We're going to go level three. Blast. Her out of existence. I'm frightened. I mean, just don't move. Just stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect, dude. That was your action. That was your action? That's what you're going to choose to do. Okay. Sure. That's fine, I guess. Man, he really doesn't take damage, does he? That's not good for me. Oh, this is so bad. I'm realizing now. All incoming damage reduced by two. My The whole point of my build is little tick damage, like twos and fours and threes. That's not good. Aelin, I swear, you better put in some damage. Let's go. Yes. Go again. You missed. Okay. Well, that was good damage. I'll give you that. Oh. Enough. Yes. <laughs> My lord. It cost me everything. <laughs> Did Aelin, is Aelin leaving? She left. Oh, I'm so screwed. I'm gonna be the Tharjic, can I? Aren't I? Oh, no. <laughs> please, please. No. Oh, frick this game, dude. Enough. His Lord beckons him. How can such a thing be possible? I'm still frightened. Ooh, wow. I think we're chilling this time, guys. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still frightened? Why am I frightened? Am I frightened? I'm frightened. Why am I still frightened? I've got to have something of heroism, right? I guess not. I think the game's bugging. If I get out of combat by killing these guys... Please, please. I don't care. Yeah, you guys didn't see anything. It's fine. Where it took Ketherick. There it goes. Brilliant. I'm gonna say it was okay because my game was glitched. <laughs> Leap the into the tentacle. Uh, sword is still glowing, and we can cast blur. Wait, why can't I do that? Did it not refresh my tools? The long rest doesn't refresh these though. I'm really glad I have this then. I was gonna wait to use this on um I'm hoping Aelin can focus Kethric and then I can maybe kill Merkel. So obviously I mean this Dang it. The necklace didn't recharge, but the weapon did. Find a way forward. This mind flayer is gonna be an issue. Stepping into this fight, our hero had a plan of success and victory. Please don't blast us. Please don't stun me. Please don't stun me. You're so dumb. You're so dumb. But it was faced with a lot of death. Like, like a lot of it. Like, almost two and a half hours of time spent trying to just kill these guys, and I couldn't do anything about it. And so, after much consideration, our hero went back, made sure to get a long rest to have all of his gear available and ready, and decided to start the fight from the beginning once again. This time, however, his plan was very straightforward. Let Aelin deal with Kethric, while his plan was to deal with Merkel. Kethric's damage reduction means our hero can't hardly do any damage to him. However, Merkel, without damage reduction, would make an easy target for our hero. And so with this plan in place, he does everything he can to keep Aelin alive and fighting strong. We could try to hit it, Aelin with it if she's up. I could try to haste her, but if she can get off a ton of attacks, with haste, that would be very beneficial for sure. Okay, scratch, gator. Okay, one's gonna blast, probably me. That's okay, I got my turn before him. Okay. Okay, yeah, so she's far away, so he shouldn't be able to hit her on his turn. He'll probably just incubate death. So I should be able to haste her. See what happens. Just the thing. 
another action. I think I'm just going to use that action to switch off to this crossbow. I'm just going to save right here, just in case. Yes, get closer. That way she doesn't have to burn any spells or dashes. Okay, good. She should have a ton of attacks now. Hit him, please. Please hit him. Do you have another attack? I need her to hit those. Okay. Good. Not good. Very good. Okay. Okay, we're off to the races here. Man, if she'd hit all three of those, though, we'd probably already be in phase two. Get rid of him, Scratch. Let's go. Scratch best boy. Okay, I'm going to go lethargic this turn. So I really want her to stay up. No, I really needed her to stay up. No, not Scratch. Oh, I keep concentration though? That's kind of crazy, what? Do we activate the sword? I think we'll wait. Trying to get rid of some of the adds because they can heal the the boss. Please miss, please miss, please miss. Oh, let's go. Okay. I need to make sure he dies. He hit you. And then we're gonna sing. I will not take opportunity. That's okay. Five magic missiles. I think that'll be enough. It's not enough. <gasps> oh no. Hit me, hit me, hit me. No. Oh, good, good. Oh, this is huge. Hit him. Oh, one more time, one more time. Oh yeah, she's hasted. <gasps> Yo, okay, okay, okay. I am eternal. You sure about that? <laughs> so sick. This game does cutscenes right, you know what I mean? Okay, good. I saved concentration. Okay, so here we go. This is This is where we kinda need to go in Sano mode. I think this is this is our chance right here. I have enough spells, I just need to survive his attacks. Frightened, that's completely okay. Good, he missed. <laughs> oh, this is huge. <gasps> Sanctuary myself? Okay, okay, okay. I think it's, I think we're here. I think we're here, guys. <laughs> Three turns. It's amazing how Catherick was the harder fight for me. <laughs> what? Impossible. Impossible. Well, chill, Aelin. Chill. Yes. <laughs> Big orc mama. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Lore set up, blah, blah, blah. Our hero now stand atop the grave of a god, and taking the netherstone for himself, it was now time for our hero, mm, to make his way into Baldur's Gate in pursuit of the other netherstones. Yes, I realize my accent is getting thicker as we go. I'm getting more into this, okay? And while resting at camp along his travels, he gets invaded by the Githyanki. Seeing a portal in the distance, our hero scampers into the portal and finds himself in the astral plane and discovers a most horrifying truth. You can't be, can you can't be my, my orc waifu. Now. And so after helping this tentacle flaily boy, our hero is given clear instructions on his next goal, which is to achieve the final two nether stones. However, our hero is currently only a level eight and that's not strong enough. And so moving into Baldur's Gate, it's time to get to some grinding. 
Yeah, I just killed the Avatar and Merkel. Thank you. Thank you for the money. Who we rooting for? I'm rooting blue. Oh no, blue, bad start. Ooh, okay. Dang it. Blue, you failed me. Ah, so fun. Okay, bye. And I will peel it from your skull. I didn't even tell her. I just literally started attacking this guy. Your body is my ultimate gift to my lord. You might have blades, but I am magic incarnate. I'm damn lucky you showed up when you did. I have more magic in my little finger. Sorcerer is funny. I read it right away. All right, I didn't mean to. Beautiful. Okay, so I really quick need to test something now. Take off all of our magic missile buff. We'll, we'll go shoot this lady real quick. So turn base. Okay, so we shot it, it did. It was magic missile, magic missile is just a plus one, right? I got a D4 plus one. I wanna see like if it's a big enough damage jump to go to wizard or does it matter? I do like being a sorcerer because of my charisma, though. Okay, so here should be the big buff that I get here. Intelligence modifier to your damage rolls with any evocation spell. That's the whole point we're going to wizard. It's for that thing right there. I'm going to miss my charisma. And then we go cleric. Okay, see, it's only saying I gain plus three like it did before. The whole point I'm doing this is for extra damage. And if it's not giving me extra damage, I'm staying Sorcerer for sure. So how much damage? Oh. A fight. Yeah, I gained plus four damage instead of plus one. For every magic missile, I rolled a one and I got six damage. I rolled a two and I got seven damage. Ooh. Yeah, see, this is kind of a big deal, guys. This is kind of a big deal. That's a lot more damage. Dude, that's that's actually like not bad damage too. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, let's get let's get set back up uh, and let's go finish off the Steel Watch Foundry. Featherfall, enhance leap, haste. Switch out the bow. Pinned down. Oh, you suck. I can jump, right? Cool. Dang it. I should have done max level. You gonna detonate? Okay, yeah, it's detonating. Okay, that one should detonate then. Yep. Good. Wow. How much damage is that? 201 damage in one turn. Holy. I love this. <laughs> wow. This is great. The unyielding dealing at least 15 can harm this. So yeah, there's no way to for me to break it. But if I can kill this one... And then now it explodes while I run away. 
that's, that's nice. Uh, we'll just back up. <laughs> no shot. That was that easy. That was crazy, dude. That was so easy. What the heck? There's the bow. Because I think this haste doesn't... It only lasts for five turns, but it also doesn't uh, make you go lethargic when you lose it, which is so nice. I'm coming for you, Gortash. With every piece of gear our hero could ever need and the skills to accomplish any goal, our hero finishes the last endeavors to completely shut down the Steel Watch Foundry and begin the final boss rush. May all quake in the presence of mmm. Our hero begins his conquest with Lord Gortash. Now previously, he had already fought Lord Gortash, but it ended in failure. Our unlikely hero, hmm, couldn't do damage fast enough to stop him from transitioning to phase two. In phase two, he gains immunity to thunder and force damage, and so it negates a large majority of our hero's damage. However, gaining the extra level since then and having the extra damage from being a wizard, our hero pursues victory. So first things first, equip sword, make it glow, feather fall, and sleep, celestial haste. Okay, good. Still got five turns on Celestial Haste. I love surprise turns. It's almost tempting to try and activate the sword, but I think he's... Yeah, he's immune to thunder, so there's no point. Okay. We might be able to do this here. Because that was a, a 5 and a 4, and he's at half health right now, so... If we get good rolls, this might do it. Ooh, no, don't shoot the chandelier, please. Thank you. Okay. Give it to me. Come on, game. Oh, no way! Oh, do, can I get another action? Please? Anything. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna go big mode and he's gonna gain 150 hit points, get reflective shield. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. We don't have the seal watch, so we might be able to, to, to like last through a turn. Yeah, because I can't blow these up. If I could blow these up, dude, this would be so easy. No. You don't do that. That's bad. <gasps> Yo, I made him skip his turn. Oh, we're good. We're good. Get the heck out of here, Gortash. <laughs> oh, get melted. <laughs> Incredible. A legend. Truly. Stop, bro. What did I tell you? <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. I'm having so much fun with this. Uh, so I guess let's start doing the stuff to go after Orin, which I believe we need to get the invitation from her father. Interesting. The door's not open, though, so can they even do anything? I don't think they can. Oh, no, my haste. Oh, well, that's fine. Get melted. See you, Saravok. Okay. Let's go. Come. I swear. <sighs> They're stunning gaze, and they can all use it. See, this is going to be an issue because of because of her allies. It looks her vigilance. I want to try going invisible and see if I can get point blank with her. Like, it's not going to throw me into a conversation, is it?
<laughs> so be it. Oh, wow. Okay, you just go to Slayer form now. All right, cool. Surprised? Good. I'm glad you're all surprised. What is happening? Whoa. What? Uh, the game's freaking out. Don't. Don't. Good. Why is my turn being skipped? What is happening? What is what 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 is happening? Bro, is she well lit? She is. Perfect. Do as much damage as we can before unstoppable. Okay. Can they still confuse me if I have Sanctuary? Let's try. Let's go. No, I can't sanctuary again. <laughs> okay, let's just hope we'll be okay. Slow? I'm okay with slow. I'm not okay with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your unstoppable stuff back. Multi-attack. I'm more worried about that. I- oh, I can't stop that? That's so annoying. I thought I could maybe counter that, but I guess not. Why did it skip my turn? Oh, because of the speed potion. Wore off. No? Good. Give me a turn. Give me a turn, game. Do not skip my turn again. Thank you. We just chuck another one of these. One, two, three, four, five, maybe? Two on you. <laughs> not very invisible, are you? Can't even hit me when I'm on the ground. <laughs> Let's go, max level. Lazel, I got you. Don't you worry. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank goodness, Lazel is so critical. Level up time. Ooh, actually, could be cool. Silence. Let's go kill a brain. Let's go. Mm, intelligence. Dang it. Dexterity? That's my next highest? Nice. Yo, Tim, remember when I rolled a nat 20 on the 99 check? <laughs> no shot twice in a row on stream. Was it a 20? It was a 20. Excuse me? Oh, well. Uh, it's not... <laughs> what the heck? Game was just like, no. Nah. Game really doesn't like me right now, I think, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How did I roll a 66? It makes zero sense. I did get something harder than a nat 20. A <laughs> 66. A literal number I think you could never get. Yes, make me a mind flare. Look at me. Eat the brain. Challenge now lies ahead Ew. of us. Oh, you're right. I can't ungrip him. I mean, 
Invalid target, dang it. <laughs> oh, fine. I'm just gonna make him not attack anything. Let's see if I can do this. Although I have Orpheus with me, which is kind of an issue. Or er, the Emperor. I mean, I could just let him die. Bye bye, Emperor. Expeditious retreat. <laughs> Too easy. Is Orpheus or is the Emperor still down there? <laughs> hey, you know, meant to be solo anyway. So I probably want the Elixir of Vigilance. That's just the most valuable for me. Is it because he's not here? I mean, I guess I just gotta kill these three, yeah? Die. I like the sneaking. It's good. So sly. Alright, Emperor. I know you're not looking too good, but I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll just drink a speed potion when we get to the brain. I think we're gonna go invisibility. Sure. Wow. All right, Emperor, you can just chill there, okay? I'll take care of this, don't worry about it. Watch me get stunned. But did he just magic missile me? How dare you? That's my job. <laughs> Emperor down. Bruh, what? What did you even do to me? Okay. Okay. I have a new idea. Seems to be working. This is it. Protect your lithid ally while they cast the spell. I'm your lithid ally. <laughs> Bro. Good try. <laughs> oh no, whatever will I do? He's shooting magic missile at me. Oh no, big fireball. Didn't hit me? What? Alright, just you and me now, Mr. Brain. We have two actions. 450 health. We're gonna fly down. Uh, it is not well lit for some reason. Even though I'm... What if I get a little closer? Can it not be well lit? My staff is glowing, isn't it? I'm gonna go lethargic next turn. Let's just buff. Why did that eat both my actions? Excuse me? It will break you. Shut up. Finish your turn. Wait, because I'm going to be lethargic. Am I about to just die here? I am going to die, aren't I? <laughs> okay, don't drink a speed potion. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so now I shouldn't get countered here. I got rid of haste. That's fine. Uh, two turns of sword. We're good. Oh, we got this. Let's go, brain. Did it stop my magic missile partway through? One, two, three. I only got three magic missiles off. And then it did its stupid thing that it stunned me. You're a cheater. All right, just me and the brain. It did it again. I ain't letting that slide. Drink. See, that's what's supposed to happen. Goodbye, brain. Big brain move. <laughs> Our man, mm, it's gonna take over the world. Let's go. <laughs> Magic missile master, truly.
We have become the master of all. And there you have it, the mighty Missile Man beats Baldur's Gate 3. Tactician, no companions, and with only the spell, Magic Missile. To be real though, everyone, if you're making it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. I had a ton of fun not only doing this playthrough, but honestly editing this. If you can't tell from the stupid voiceovers I was doing, I was actually having a lot of fun with this one, and I hope you guys enjoy the final product. This ended up being a way longer and bigger project than I originally thought when I started the run, but I'm super happy with how it turned out, and I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Obviously, if you watch to the end, I'm guessing you enjoyed it. I think so. I don't know. I'm excited to do more runs in Baldur's Gate in the future, and I'm super thankful that you watched all the way to the end, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. The Mighty Missile Man signs off.